Hello everybody, welcome to the Epic Flight Academy. My name is Mike Thompson and this is the Private Pilot Ground School. Our topic in this session is aircraft fuel and fuel systems. Now remember, these videos accompany your online learning program and questions please review with your flight instructor. So let's talk about aircraft fuel before we talk about fuel systems. Fuel comes from oil, which comes from crude oil. Crude oil is pulled from the earth itself and is refined. Crude oil is refined into oil, oil is refined into kerosene, kerosene is refined into gasoline and aviation fuel. So this highly refined oil comes to us as aviation fuel and we want to look specifically at four types. Now these aviation fuels are color-coded with dye in order to help pilots recognize the correct type of fuel for their aircraft. Take a look. The red dye is put into what we call 8087 octane fuel. The green dye is put into 100-130 octane fuel. Blue dye is put into what we call 100 low lead octane fuel and this kind of straw colored jet A is turbine fuel. The turbine fuel is really kerosene, slightly less refined. Remember we've gone from crude oil through the refinement process all the way to finely refined aviation fuels. Now, the fuel that we're going to be most commonly experienced with in general aviation and certainly in the 172s at Epic is 100 low lead. That's the fuel with the light blue. You might be wondering what these numbers mean. These numbers are referring to quantities of octane and heptane in the fuel. There are certain quantities of lead in these fuels that prevent the fuel from detonating spontaneously in the cylinders. Suffice it to say, the higher the lead content, the higher the number. The higher the number, the more resistant it is to detonation, and these are used in higher and higher performance engines, engines with more and more compression that give us more power and more performance. So that's the, the quick rundown on aviation fuel types. What about the systems? When we look at aircraft fuel systems, we divide them broadly into two categories, gravity fed and pump fed. Well, that's exactly what they are. The gravity-fed systems are like the one on your 172. The tanks are up high in the wings. Remember, it's a high-wing airplane. And the fuel is fed by gravity down into the fuel system. Well, take a look at a low-wing airplane. I don't know, maybe we're flying a Piper Cherokee, for example. It's a low-wing airplane, and these wings are in the tank. Well, gravity is not going to help the fuel get to the engine. In this system, fuel pumps move the fuel from the tanks to the engine. So those are our two broad categories. The major difference, high wing versus low wing. Now let's take a look at these in a little more detail and see what they have in common. From the high wing fuel system, the fuel flows down and to a fuel selector and then to some type of a, a, a sump or filter system. Well, take a look at the low wing system. It flows from the tank to a fuel selector to some type of a sump or fuel system. Okay, from there, 
The fuel flows toward the engine. There are going to be some engine-driven pumps and auxiliary-driven electric fuel pumps along the way. Well, they both have that in common. Take a look at the high-wing system. From the fuel selector and the sump, we see a pump and ultimately we get to either a carburetor or a fuel injection fuel-air mixture unit we talked about in a previous lesson. Take a look at the low wing system. Same thing. From the selector and the sump, there's some type of pump involved here to move the fuel to a carburetor or fuel injector. So, review question for today. When we talk about aircraft fuel and fuel systems, Try to name the color associated with 1130 and 100 low lead. All right, folks, that's it for today. We'll see you next time.